Okay, so I haven't uploaded for a while and I'm sorry about that, but I want to get back into things. So I'm just going to do a Discord JS development series. A lot of these become very popular on YouTube and a lot of people want to know how to make bots. For this series, we need to be using, first thing is Visual Studio Code. You can use something else if you want, like you could use JetBrains New Fleet if you want, you can use Sublime Text, you can use whatever, whatever development environment you want, you could use Notepad if you want, I'm not bothered. Visual Studio Code will give me the best compatibility with everything that I need. It also has some really useful features built in, so that's why I like it. I will also have some extensions running. There is GitHub Copilot running on my version that will be assisting me, really. GitHub Copilot is obviously paid unless you're a student or some other, like a GitHub contributor. So if you can't afford that, you don't need it. You can get an alternative called Blackbox AI if you want. And we need this. Uh, we need Node.js. This is going to be how we download and run the Discord.js framework we'll be using which is the next thing we need. This will just contact the Discord API, which just kind of makes it so we don't have to run certain API requests by ourselves, it does it for us. We'll also be using the Discord JS guide, which uh, I'll have linked in the description. All of these things will be linked in the description, by the way, and this will just allow me to refer back to and show you guys what each thing does. There's also the documentation on the official Discord.js website that I'll be referring back to as well. However, this is a more user, uh, like developer-friendly version that just gives you a bit more of a breakdown of how it all runs. And um, of course, you're gonna need Discord and your developer portal needs to be open as well at some point. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create our project. So we're going to open Visual Studio Code. You'll see a screen like this. Uh, what I would, what I normally do is you go open folder. You then navigate to where you want to save it. I have folders for all of my stuff. And I'm going to go in here, new folder. I'm going to call it tutorial. You can call it whatever you want. And you just select that folder and it will open a new window as you can see here it opens this welcome window again now once you add the screen as you can see i have a new file there that is not necessary that's because i'm putting this on github for you guys to see so if you want to look at all the source code look at what i've done look at how it progresses over the episodes you can go on my github look at past commits you can look at everything and it'll all be on there so the first thing we're actually going to do is not even create any files we're going to go to the terminal we're going to create a new terminal i'm going to bring this up for you guys and we're going to do type uh we're going to use npm as a package manager we're going to use npm in it what that's going to do is initialize our project for us so i'm going to leave the package name as default you can leave all of these as defaults if you want um i will edit the git repository link later once i have a link for it author i'm going to put my name license i'm putting the mit license you don't have to put any license on here but this is um this is just how i'm setting it up you can change all of this later using this package.json file you can edit all that in there but we're not done with the console yet we can close out of that and what we need to do now is type npm install discord.js i have no idea why it's gone all the way down here but we will um you'll see it'll start to install loads of things and we have added the packages properly and we've got this new package log.json you don't want to be messaging messing with this because this is where all of your dependencies are stored really as well as in here and now this is where we have to come out of visual studio code for a bit we're going to go back to our browser and we're going to go to the discord developer portal i will link this in the description as well as you can see i have a few applications already this because i've done some development on discord before you may not have you may have but it, it's all dependent on what you've done before we're going to create a new application. Uh, I'm going to call this tutorial. Tutorial bot. This is auto filled because of a failed recording. And I'm going to create the bot. So as you can see, we now have this new page where it's given us access to everything on our application. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to bot and we want to enable these toggles here. This is going to allow our bot to receive the messages that we want it to receive and get all of the different it, like get the different permissions we need. The next thing we're gonna reset our token. So this is going to allow us to actually get our Discord token and use it in our in our in our project. Now I will be blacking out, blurring my token so you guys can't steal it because 
very sensitive you do not want to share this with anyone if you share this your bot can be accessed by anyone without any kind of username password whatever it's the same with your actual discord token so don't share either of them and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this OAuth 2 tab we're going to go to url generator we're going to want to enable the bot scope as well as the application.command scope because we're going to create a bot and we're going to want it to be able to create slash commands for the future when we actually start with command like proper commands whether that's um, simple commands like ping or whether we're doing like banning or role updating or nickname commands we're also for this tutorial i will just be giving my bot administrator you don't have to do this you can give it whatever permissions you want or go to a permissions calculator online i'm just going to give it administrator because it is only going in my test server and we're going to make sure you copy this link down here whether you highlight it click copy button just go to a new tab and uh, paste it in you're going to find your test server if you have one if you don't i'd recommend creating one it's not necessary but it's a nice to have and we're going to add it to our server it's got the administrator role authorized and now if we go to my test server there is a welcome channel that we will take a look at well it, it should pop up in here next to this bot yep here we go this is my production bot that i have rolled out i'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to try it out now we i have got a new channel because this is very cluttered and i don't want people to get overwhelmed by everything but this is the new channel that i've made for this these videos and this is where i'm going to be doing all of my testing for my bot as you can see i have bots down the side i have created some of these this one is one that i was testing this one is obviously a quite a famous bot but the rest of them are ones that i've created or this is uh that one's my alt account there so the first thing we need to do is come back to Visual Studio Code. We're going to create a new file, index.js. This has to be right. We are calling this index.js because that, in the pack package.json, this main file is called index.js. This file here must be called the same as this file, otherwise it won't work very well. And if we want to test that this file is working, we can just type cons uh, console.log. Let's just type hello world, like I've been told to by GitHub, and we'll Let's run this command node space dot. As you can see, it writes to the console hello world. As you can see, the node space dot command prints this console.log up here. Now I'm going to use the command CLS and clear my terminal just to make it a bit easier to read. And we're going to get, get rid of this up here as well. Um, these files are going green for me because I've got a GitHub repository. Again, you might not have one, you might do, that's up to you. And this config copy is because I don't want to show, I don't want to upload this config onto my uh, GitHub. So now we need to actually start creating the client. So the first thing we've got to do is call discord.js into that file. So we're gonna do const to get constant. We're gonna open curly braces and we're gonna do client. We're also going to do gateway intent bits is requ equals required discord.js. Now that's just gonna grab these two functions from the discord.js framework. Oh, we also need the events. What that's going to do is allow us to get the ready event. So the next thing we're gonna do is, well, as Copilot is saying, const client equals new client. We're gonna do intents. Gateway intense bits dot guilds. And uh, we need to do a couple more gateway intense bits dot guild messages. Gateway intense bits dot uh, message content. And this one's not necessary, but we're going to get it anyway. Guild members. So we can read the members better from our server. Uh, I uh, in the last time I tried to record this I didn't add this intent and it didn't work when trying to run a command so you need all of these intents for the bot to work properly. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, this is obviously not a step you need to take if you're not using a config.json but because I am I need to do const token equals require and then we have to do slash config.json. This is just so I can call my token in from another file without exposing it online all the time. So the next, um, so the next step is to create the ready event. So we're going to do client dot on once event dot ready. 
it's event, well, I say it's events already, it's events.client ready. And we're gonna call this client. And we're gonna use client ready because this is what the document say. And we're gonna do console.log. These back these backticks are called string literal tags and what they do is allow us to write strings with um, variables inside of them without having to do like plus and spaces and stuff in weird ways. So we're going to do log in as this dollar sign allows, allows us to call a variable with these curly braces. We're going to do client ready user tag and what this allows us to do is uh, we write out to the console we're logged in as a client tag and all we have to do is client.login token also by the way you don't need to put semicolons on the end of every line I do because it just looks better in my opinion but you don't need to in JavaScript it will work fine and now to run the bot all we have to do is do node space dot and we should get logged in as tutorial bot as you can see, if we go back to Discord, you can see our bot is online. This is the tutorial bot I just made, and here's all the data access you can see as well. So these are the uh, these intents here are what you enable when you were on this screen here in your bot tab when you were here. Now it is a bit useless having a bot without having any commands alongside it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple ping command, you know, everyone does it. You type ping, it types pong back, just to make sure that we've got everything set up right. So we're going to do client.on events.message create. We're going to do open brackets message with an arrow function. We're going to check, right? This is not the, this is quite an important feature if you're going to be rolling this bot out for bigger servers. Not necessarily in development, however, it's good practice to do. You want to check if message.author.bot. You want to check if the message is the uh, message's author is a is any bot at all. You want to just return because you don't want it to do anything because you'll just plug up all your chats. Next, you want to do if message.content content is equal to we're going to use exclamation point as our prefix for now if it's equal to ping we're going to do message our channel that send pong and now if we control c down here to leave the bot and no start again we should be able to see logged in a tutorial bot the bot is online and if we type ping we get pong back and that's it that's how you create a very very simple discord.js bot next episode i would love to be able to possibly look at statuses with the bot so as you can see for this bot that i've also made you can see i can't show you there but the status is changing i'd love to be able to get at least a simple one where it's just playing this game or watching this just to make the bot a little more sophisticated and yeah thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this uh, subscribe and comment and let me know what you want to see in the future in this series and i'll see what i can do